What's up y'all? Welcome to Tabletop Bros. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate some simple but effective techniques, shading and dry brushing metallics. We're starting off with aluminum metallic silver primer on a couple of barricades from Kill Team Essentials Kit. The next step is applying a generous shade. Starting with Caribou Crimson Shade from Games Workshop, we load up our brush and cover our surface, paying special attention to the deep cracks and crevices. Gravity will do most of the work here, but we need to make sure that no air bubbles collect in the corners and stop our shade from reaching the recesses. Once we've completely covered the surface, we're ready to move on to the next piece. For this piece, we're going with the Drakenhof Nightshade, but as you'll soon see, any color or shade brand will do. Regardless of what you're applying the shade to or what brand you're using, we're just doing the same thing, applying a generous amount of shade and making sure it reaches the deep recesses. Once this step is complete, we're ready to move on to our next step, dry brushing. It's very important that before we begin dry brushing, our shades are completely dry. For the first dry brush color, we're starting off with dark silver. This is Lead Belcher from Games Workshop. We start by loading up our brush and then removing most of the paint on a clean surface. By doing this, when we start to apply the paint to the surface of our model, it will apply an even amount of paint to the raised surfaces, but won't get down in the cracks where our shades have settled. For this demonstration, we will only be applying our first metallic to the top 50% of the barricades. This will begin giving us a gradient, replicating natural light, darkest at the bottom, and progressively lighter at the top. A combination of left to right and top to bottom motions back and forth will ensure that we get some paint on all the raised surfaces. Once we're happy with the results, we'll move on to the next piece and repeat the process. We can already see some great results. Now it's time to apply a second layer of paint, this time a lighter silver. In this case, I'm using Iron Breaker from Games Workshop. It's important that each layer we apply covers less and less of the surface. 100% for the shade, 50% for the first dry brush layer, and now we're focused on applying this color to only the top 25% of our model. This will give us a nice transition from dark to mid-tone and finish with a light tone, often referred to as a highlight. As we go through and repeat this process on each of our barricades, we can see the technique really taking shape. Rather than spending a bunch of time painstakingly avoiding the recesses, our dry brush picks out the details and raised areas with minimal effort. Speaking of minimal effort, now is a great time to remind you to like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy hobby videos like this one, subscribing is a great way to show your support. The combination of shading and dry brushing is a perfect way to lay some paint down. It's fast, effective, and fun. So much fun, I decided to try a few more colors. Let's check out the results. First is our Caraboro Crimson, sometimes referred to as Red. I like these Citadel shades because they have a nice matte finish. The metallics from Games Workshop are my favorites too. They go on smooth and leave us with consistently great results. Next is our Drakenhof Nightshade, otherwise known as Blue to us peasants. Dark and matte towards the bottom, progressively lighter and shinier metallics towards the top. This technique does a great job making us look like a skilled painter while expending minimal time and effort. Great success. But I didn't stop there. I also did a set with Nullin Oil, which is basically just black. This still looks good, but it's my least favorite. The other colors are much more exciting, but don't let these results fool you. Nullin Oil is awesome. And last but certainly not least is Seraphim Sepia, commonly known as Brown Wash. This one came out really nice, gives us a bit of a dirty, rusty feel. Perfect for any grimdark battlefield of the far future or fantasy setting alike. This process is really fun and effective for large quantities of terrain or just a single mini. Regardless of what you're painting, mastering shades and dry brushing will take your metallics to the next level. Well, that's all from the Tabletop Bros. Later, y'all.